people are coming into the exhibition, they're having their blood taken and then being able to determine what blood type they are. Where it links in with us is that's how we actually manage the blood supply in Ireland. Um, it's not a case of, you know, have we got enough blood, it's a case of have we got enough of particular types of blood, B neg and B pos and A neg and so on. But the challenges for us is that at any given time in the Irish population, only 3% of the eligible blood given population are actually active donors but one in four of us are going to require a blood transfusion in our lifetime. So there's a mismatch there that we need to um, be able to address. We're actually launching a new app, um, the giveblood.ie app. And it's enabling people to look at what clinics are on, and what's, um, where those clinics are happening, what dates are happening in their area. They can find any clinics close to them at that uh, moment in time. Um, they can also look in the main to see whether they're able to give blood, because um, a lot of people aren't able to give blood unfortunately. Um, and they can also look at the current blood supplies. So again, that's coming back to the idea of, you know, we're, we're managing by individual uh, blood groups. So it could be that in any given week, we might uh, have demand from a hospital for a particular blood group, and therefore we've had to call out extra donors to attend panels that we have that particular week to give um, in relation to that blood group. And that's good. It's, it's good to kind of not just assume it, that assume that it's always there, um, that it does take a bit of effort, um, and that has a great impact on it.